so I just left Whole Foods. I don't normally shop here. I want to be someone who shops here, but my daughter got me a gift card for Mother's Day. She's just gonna come get a few things. I got three bags full. Um, and it's pouring down. Oh, I'm hungry, and I wanna go home and eat everything in this bag, these bags. Actually, since I'm starving, I'm gonna try this. Looks good. Hope I like it. All right, I am doing a Whole Foods grocery haul, and I've always wanted to be someone who shops at Whole Foods, but I mean, that's the best place for a vegetarian to shop. My daughter got me a gift card for Mother's Day, so I just left there in the pouring, pouring rain, and I'm gonna show you my haul. So I got some peaches, and they're so, oh my gosh, they feel so ripe. Fuji apple for my peanut butter more peanut butter. I guess this is their store brand 365. Got hummus. Oops. Spinach bites. I got things. I think there's a couple of things I got that I've had before. But most of the stuff I got is stuff I've never tried before. So we shall see. Um, of course I've had this before the non-dairy Ben and Jerry's. Over here. I got some peppers. I'm gonna do last week I did some stuffed peppers, so now I'm gonna do them with the uh, three different colors. Vegetable pot pie. So this is vegetarian. I used to love pot pies when I was a kid, and I did kind of miss them, just you know, I don't eat meat, so I got another Ben and Jerry's. I love the seven layer, oh, it's so good. This is something new that I'm trying. It's the Hillary's Organic Apple Maple Meatless Breakfast Sausage. I haven't tried this brand before. Um, I've eaten some of Amy's. I've just not tried the Indian. I don't know how to say that. I'm not gonna mess, mess it up, but I have eaten this in Indian restaurants. So. <clears throat> this I've had before and I love it. So I just grabbed another one. Um, I've not had the stir-fried noodles, so I grabbed one of those. I showed you one of these in the car that I had. It was really good. So this is the cherry pecan. And this is, I do get this at Walmart, so I got some more of the field roast uh, vegetarian um, sausage. I got me some bougie bread. So I guess this is their store brand also. Early bird multi-seed bread. And I almost went with the vegan cheese pizza, but at the last minute I put it back because I was like, I, I don't like vegan cheese. There's been very little that I actually like. So I was afraid, I did not, I didn't want to chance it. So grab the cheese pizza. Um, this looked interesting, the three bean taco bowl. I need to get me some chips to eat with it, but it looks pretty good. Vegetarian. Um, this, I've had the Guardian before, but I've never seen the Chipotle lime. Crispy fingers, I'm gonna try this. This is a different, I've had the Snack Factory pretzels, but not the sourdough, so I'm gonna use that for the hummus. And I actually have had the mandarin orange crispy chicken before. I'm actually going to do that with this. So, see how that goes together. Got an organic cucumber because it just looked like it was better. So, let me take this off. And so, there's my whole food grocery haul. I'm hungry. I gotta pick something to eat. Alright, so I finally made it to my P.O. box to pick up my package, my Mother's Day package for my oldest daughter. And she got me this beautiful thing. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. This is the softest thing I've ever felt. This, I had to call her to see what it was, but this is, you put it, I guess it goes on the back of your head and your face mask hooks onto these. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like the face mask goes around and it keeps it from rubbing on your ears. So she said it was bougie and gaudy like me. So there we go. Yeah. And then the paparazzi, one of my nieces sells it. 
I love her stuff because it's cute and cheap. So she got me the little stilettos because I always wear heels. And then, of course, I got my Tennessee ball earrings. So, yeah. Thank you. Got my Mother's Day stuff. Okay, y'all. have to show you my new mask and tell you how this went down. Um, I just posted a blog post um, last week about um, masks being the new fashion statement <clears throat> and one of the places I was trying to include small businesses and one of the places was House of Lamond and he has collabed with Neck Respect and made some amazing masks. Well today I was at work and Lamond came by and gave me a Gucci mask and I'm just speechless. I love this man so much. Look at that. It's a beautiful detail. It's too pretty to wear. But I just got to tell you what Lamont means to me. I was following him. Um, when I first moved here, started following him. He had a um, men's boutique uptown. He's since moved to Noda. And I was so intimidated by him. He's so over the top and so incredible and has so much going on. And I would never go to his events. I would never go to his store because I was just so I just intimidated. I didn't know what to do. So um, I had... Um, that's how it came packaged, by the way. The little string and the card. Um, so I was just like, everybody was like, he's the nicest person. You just go up and talk to him. He's just the nicest person. So I was at a fashion show and I had been commenting on his Instagram and everything. And he was always so nice to me. And I went up to him at a show and I introduced myself and he immediately hugged me. And from that moment on, he has treated me like family. I mean, this man has treated me like a member of his family. And he has taught me a valuable lesson, collaboration over competition. And this man is a true example of that right here, collabing. But he lifts up so many people. And I just want you to go by, check out his shop, um, check him out online, check out Neck Respect. They also do bow ties and stuff really really cool stuff but yeah Lamond House of Lamond he is a king among men so yes thank you Lamond for my gorgeous Gucci mask all right all right so I'm doing a little video for my upcoming skincare Sunday and I'm focusing on these um cotton rounds and I've tried several different brands and I just happened to grab these at Family Dollar one day. Yes, Family Dollar. And I fell in love with them. And I can't find any that I like any better. They're $1.75. They got two sides. One of them's a little fluffier and softer. And then this is more, I guess, for exfoliating a little bit. I put them in this little Dollar Tree off carry jar. But these are made right or packaged, distributed, right down the road here. Matthews, just right next to, well, they're made in Mexico, but they're packaged here at the uh, Family Dollar plant right next door to us. So, yeah, who would have thought? Family Dollar. And I use them with my toner, my Clinique toner, and I use them to kind of get makeup off my face and everything, wear my eyes and everything. So, yeah, 